Hello everyone, welcome to Adra's EC Talks. Today, let us talk about the works of Chaucer's works were divided into three major periods. That is, the first period goes like French period from 1360 to 1317, Italian period from 1370 to 1385, then the English period from 1384 to 1390. Chaucer has multiple experience during his lifetime. He was influenced by three kings. He lived in the time of three kings. He was involved in political affairs. He travelled abroad. He was a head of king's work. And all these experiences can be seen in his works also. So let us begin with the French period. The French period falls in between 1360 to 1370. And at the beginning of his career, he translated Roman de la Rose. It is a French dream allegory and it was written by Loris and Demon. It is written in octasyllabic couplet. And Chaucer translated the Romance of the Rose. In modern English, it is called as the Romance of the Rose. And the narrator receives an advice from the God of Love on gaining his lady's favor. Chaucer's dream allegory, other than Roman de la Rose, is the Book of the Duchess. Go on to the Book of the Duchess. It is written in 1369. It is an elegy. Chaucer is seeing a black knight. Perhaps this black knight can be John of God. And he is mourning for the death of his wife Blanche. This work, the book of the Duchess, is also called as the dream of Chaucer. Very important. The book of the Duchess is also called as the dream of Chaucer. Then, he is supposed to have written a parody of Dan Day's Divine Comedy. Sorry, Dan Day's Divine Comedy. And it was written during the period, during the Italian period. And this period falls from 1370 to 1385. And then he is supposed to be, as I said, he is supposed to be writing a parody of Dan Day's Divine Comedy. He is traveling. He is traveling to a glass, uh, to the temple of glass. He then gets to a desert. Then he is dropped by an eagle on the tower of ice. From there, he goes to the house of fame. Okay. This fame is actually a woman with great heights, numerous eyes, numerous ears and tongue. It means that you cannot trust fame anymore. Fame will say different thing at different time. From there, he goes to a house made of sticks. That is, the sticks may fall at any time. So, that is the house of rumors. So, uh, this house of fame is a 2000 two lines poem and it is an allegorical poem written in octasyllabic couplet. Okay, it is written in octasyllabic couplet. After Chaucer's time, there were Chaucerian writers who imitated this work, the house of fame. For example, you have Lydgate who had imitated Chaucer's house of fame and he had written the temple of glass. Then you have Alexander Pope, he wrote a poem imitating Chaucer's house of fame that is the temple of fame. Okay, so next, the next work during this period, the Parliament of Fowls. In this work, he had written 699 lines and the work to be written in seven lined Chaucerian stanza. And another name for Chaucerian stanza is Rhyme Royal. James I of Scotland wrote King's Book or King's Choir. And he wrote on Chaucerian stanza and that is why it is called to be a rhyme royal. The story is set in St. Valentine's Day. Birds are choosing their partners and the focus is on three male eagles who wanted the same female eagle. It is an allegory, as I said, it is an allegory written in Chaucerian stanza on the brothel of King Richard II to Annie of Bohemia. The poet falls asleep after reading Cicero's The Dream of Scifo, in which Africanus appears and shows heaven and future. This work was influenced by Boccaccio and Dante. Then after writing Parliament of Fowls, he wrote the translation, the translation of Consolation of Boethius's Consolation of Philosophy. 
King Alfred also wrote about it. Boethius is in prison awaiting execution when he was writing this work. Consolation is a genre in itself. Then after he wrote, uh, after, uh, after this translation, he wrote Troilus and Crusade. It is about a fickle woman, Crusade, and is a story from Trojan War. Crusade is cheating Troilus, and it is a very negative picture of woman that is portrayed through this work. And after some times, he himself retracted from this kind of view of a woman and he wrote a palinoid. What is a palinoid? Palinoid is a work where the author retreats from his former ideas. The pa in this palinoid, he presents women as a virtuous lady, good, good woman. So, the legend of good woman is an example of that palinoid. It is written in 1385. There were 10 stories of wonderful virtuous women who are all cheated by a wicked man. He introduced heroic couplet or decasyllabic couplet. It is based on the work of Bocasua Millerberis and it was, it has a prologue and nine legends. Okay. There is another work that Chaucer had written, this Anilida and Arset, just know the name. And then came his most important that is the English period. During that time, he wrote the Canterbury Tales. In, an, in another video, we will be looking at this Canterbury Tales in detail. So, this is enough for today. Thank you all and keep watching my next video. The next class will be on the critics who have made comments about Chaucer. Once again, thank you.